Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.com, and I uh, got together with uh, my editor-in-chief, Yvette Carnell, because she and I just, just, you know, I never see eye to eye with her because I always disagree with people who are just flat out wrong. And today is the thing that the thing that Yvette is wrong about, uh, and I'm just kidding, Yvette, Yvette is one of my favorite people on earth. And in fact, uh, Yvette, I don't know if I, uh, you, well, Yvette knows this, but I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually picked Yvette as one of the 10 smartest black people I know. And uh, just so you know, I, 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 I angered a lot of people by not putting them on that list. So uh, I have a lot of respect for Yvette. <laughs> but uh, but Yvette, you 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 wrote an article last week about a, a, a family that went to eat at a restaurant and they didn't feel the service was adequate. And they took issue with the fact that there was a 70 percent gratuity tacked on to the end of their bill and they didn't want to pay and as a result, the manager of the restaurant, from what I understand, and you can correct me on this, locked the family in the restaurant until they decided to pay. So what happened there, and, and, and what is your take on, on what went down? Well, that's my general take, too. They, they, the, the restaurant included an, an automatic, I think it was 17% gratuity um, in, 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 in their check, and it wasn't negotiable. It was what happens a lot of times. When you go a lot of times out to eat, you'll, it'll say party of six automatic 17 percent gratuity included and, and 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 it's my understanding that that's kind of what happened there but it maybe it was fewer people than they had the gratuity either way either way that's my understanding of what happened the women said they wanted to see the manager they didn't want to pay the manager was like you need to pay the bill and somehow the women ended up the the party of however many ended up locked inside the restaurant for a short amount of time and the women ended up paying the bill the party ended up paying the bill because they said they just wanted to kind of get it behind them or something of that nature something like that um and it's my take that they should if they didn't want to pay the bill until they paid the bill they should still be locked in that restaurant uh it's 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 it's, it's my sense that and and let me just let me just preface this by saying before the whole writing thing and all of that i waited tables this is not some kind of thing that's in, that's in, that's, that's, that's just in my mind and I'm just out to stereotype black people. I don't just say things about people that look and sound like me because it makes me feel good. It's because of an experience that I've had or some data that I've looked at. And so I've seen this experientially in my life where you, where you have black people who will ask for extra mayonnaise, extra ketchup, extra pickles, extra mustard, give me a toothpick, and I want some extra sugar. What kind of wine is this? This wine is too dry. This wine is too sweet. Bring me some Sprite. So, and you have all of that, and then your tip is still 6%. So what I'm saying is that you need to pay your bill. What I'm saying is that if you are serviced at a restaurant, First of all, it's your job to know when you go in there whether or not that restaurant includes gratuity in the tip. First of all, if you don't like to go to restaurants that do that, then you can head off elsewhere. There are many restaurants that, that don't, that still don't do that. If you find that to be a problem, then go elsewhere. If you have a problem with your service while you're eating, it is your job to alert the manager and say, get me a new server over here. I'm having problems with this person. Maybe she's having a bad day. Maybe somebody died. I don't know, but this isn't an enjoyable meal for me because she is is not attentive to my needs. Either way, this whole thing of, of causing a big dust up because you don't want to pay the bill, I think it's just unseemly, is uncouth, and they just should have never done it. That's my take on it. Well, you know, the, the, when you lay it out there like that, I think I understand where you're coming from. I think that there is a unique perspective that you get from working in the restaurant industry. I've never been a server myself, but I remember being a busboy. My first job ever was working, uh, wor working like a dog as, as a busboy, uh, for below minimum wage, actually. Uh, I guess because I was only 14 or 15 at the time. And I saw what the waitresses had to go through. And even back then, even at the age of 14, it always bothered me that that the restaurant industry doesn't want to pay the, the wait the waitresses and waiters what they deserve and instead they put that onus on the customer to pay above and beyond their bill to pay somebody else's salary um you know i, I i've always been offended by the fact that i'm already looking at this bill i don't want to pay and i don't like the idea that you that i have to be guilt tripped into paying extra uh to tip somebody because the the company they work for isn't doing a good enough job it's especially true in a cab ride i don't know if anybody rides in a lot of cabs but there's nothing that makes you matter than when you take a, a an 80 dollar cab ride somewhere and then you hear the cabbie telling you how they don't make any money and they need the tips in order to survive well i'm like you know what i need my 80 dollars to survive and you're not helping by expecting me to to pay another 10 15 dollars 
uh, just for the ride. Now, you know, I think that what, what, what's going on here is you, you might have a little bit of what we have, all of us have seen, all of us at some point have seen <clears throat> what, what Re and I, Re the relationship guy, who's our relationship expert, what, what Re might call Negroes behaving badly, just, you know, or, or you and I called it that too, where you see people who come in the restaurant, uh, who, you know, drive the server into the ground and who have a good time, laugh it up, eat and drink, you know, and, and, and they're merry and then complain at the end and don't want to leave a tip. Or maybe they don't complain and just don't leave a tip. And, I, and I'm not a fan of that either. But I think that there are situations where you go into a restaurant and I've gone through this where the server gives you bad service because they assume that because you're black, you're not going to tip. And and that bothers me because I'm not going to give you a big tip just to prove to you that I'm going to tip you. If you don't earn the tip, then I won't give you the tip. If you're not doing anything for me as a customer, then why should I tip you? So what if it, what if, Yvette, Yvette, what if you found out that the server just did a horrible job, the food wasn't good, and they just didn't feel that they should have to pay the, the, the extra gratuity? Do you think that that changes this scenario at all? Or you think these people should still have been, have been basically, what do they call it, false imprisonment? You think they should have been victims of false imprisonment because of this? Go, what, what say you? Bull crap. That's what say me. Bull crap. If you get poor service, then you can leave a, a below a below normal tip. If you get poor service, then by all means, leave eight percent, leave ten percent. But don't sit there. You because you were served. Even if you got poor service, you were served. Somehow your food made its way to the table. Somehow your soda or water or whatever you were sipping on that day made its way to the table, and you paid your check, and everything flowed. Now it might not have flowed the way you wanted it to. You may have had a uh, had a server that was was not attended to your needs and was slow to refill your drink and was slow to put in your dinner order. So I don't expect you to give that person a 15% tip. But the point of the matter is, is that you were served. You were served at that restaurant. And if you're served at a restaurant, you owe a tip. You don't, mm. you, you, if, if, and, if it's, and if it's that bad, if the service is that atrocious, you need to get up and say, you know what? You, you've taken my order. It's taken forever. You have, I, I don't even want, I don't even, I don't want this food. I don't want to be here. I, I, it's, it's over. I don't want, I don't want any part of this. But at the point to which you're served and you're done and you're full and feeling good and fat as a tick and you've drank, you know, and they refilled your water, even though they didn't feel it in a timely manner, you can't sit there and be like, I don't want to tip anything. No, mm. you give a you give a stingy tip, but you still tip because it is the case that people depend on this money to feed their families. It is the case that these people this is this is this is their income, and the reason one of the reasons why they don't get paid uh, minimum wage is because if it's slow, they're not really working. So part of part of the business's mindset is that if it's slow, they're not doing anything. They're just standing there. So why should they make eight dollars an hour? Now I take issue with that as well. But when it gets busy or busier, or they have customers or whatever, that's that's where they make their money from. So for you to be like, for you to sit there the whole time, have your dinner, drink your drink your water, your coke, your wine, and your sprite, or your margarita, and then at the end be like, mm, I ain't like service, I ain't gonna tip. You know, it's just it's just crap. It's just such crap. I mean, just go to Wendy's. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, but, but here's what I'll say. You know, when you go to restaurants where you sit down to eat, like an Applebee's or Old Charles or whatever, there's already a premium uh, just by virtue of the fact that you're there at that restaurant getting the same food for a higher price than you would at a fast food restaurant. So, uh, you know, it almost seems to me that a lot of that extra premium is already embedded in the price that, that having somebody bring your food to your table uh, should not necessarily in itself be worthy of the extra tip. Now, mind you, I, now just so you know, I, I don't want Yvette to get mad at me because I, I told I told Yvette when I first met her that she actually scared me with a picture. So I don't I don't mess with Yvette too much. But <laughs> but but really, no no. But now, mind you, I do tip. I, I tip. I tip very well, actually. I tip at least fifteen, sometimes twenty, twenty five percent if I like the server, especially if the server is black. I I, I like black servers and I want to support black people, but. You know, the thing that really bothers me is when I go to a restaurant and I feel that that the server isn't doing anything to earn their money. Um, you know, and I don't think there's anything wrong with somebody who says, you know what, You're, I'm not leaving a tip at all because you didn't do anything. You oh, you brought me my food, but but if my food is already costing me an arm and a leg, then why should I tip? Now, now, but at the same time, though, I have to say 
That I have a, I, I do, but but I will say though that there are some people who give us a bad reputation. It bothers me if I'm at a restaurant with another person of color or anybody who gets good service and doesn't want to tip fifteen percent, who who maybe sometimes doesn't tip at all because I think that is unfair. But but I mean this idea that we should tip just because, well, you know what? I, I'm already paying a whole lot of money for this meal. That money needs to be split up a little bit better between the restaurant and the worker. I, it's not my responsibility to add that premium if nobody's doing any extra work for me, right? If that's your view, I think you should stay home and cook. Listen, when you stay home, when you stay home, when you stay home and cook, that's what you do. You serve yourself. You you cook the food so there's no chef. You bring your own plate to the table. You make your own drink. You set it up yourself. You get your own knife. You get your own fork. If you need an extra lemon wedge, you go in the kitchen and cut yourself a lemon wedge. If you need your drink to be refilled, you go in the, the kitchen and you drink. You know, you refill your own drink. But at the point to which somebody is serving you somebody is waiting on you and going to get you your food going to get you your drink going to get you your pepper going to get you your hot sauce at the point to which somebody is doing all of these things for you you are being served and you owe a fee for that service even if it's not good if it's not good by all means, I'm not telling you to pay the 15%. 15% is customary. That's what people normally pay. If you get poor service and you want to pay 8% or you want to pay 10%, by all means, I'm with it. If you get extraordinary service, I normally, I normally tip 20%. If I get good service, I tip 25, 30%, even 35% if I get really good service because I enjoy really good service. So that's just who I am. But the fact that you go somewhere and get served and then leave as if you didn't and tip that person nothing and they spent probably at least an hour dealing with you at your table, no, that's just a no go. There is no excuse in my book not to tip. There's a there's a there's a reason to give a stingy tip. There's a reason to give less. But for you to be like, oh, I went in there and yeah, they brought out my food and they gave my drink and everything, but I ain't like it and they did it slow and I had to call them to the table, so I ain't tip. Mm, no, that's that's just that's only <laughs> has a smell test for me. <laughs> well, well, you know the way you describe it, somebody going to get your pepper, going to get your drink, going to get your, you know, going to cut your lemon wedge, going to do these things for you. That certainly defines a, a server who has earned a tip. Uh, but when you talk about those servers who disappear and you you ain't seen them since Reconstruction, that that's a problem to me. That that's a situation where get that server eight percent because did your food get there? Did your food get there eventually? They, did they, they eventually come back? That's that's why I paid for my food. And did you complain? But what, did you complain when your server got missing? Did you say I need to see a manager because I've only seen you mm. one time tonight? And I've done that before. I did that one time in my life. The server, the server wasn't wasn't attentive at all. And I said I need, I said I need to see your manager. When the manager came, I said I need a new server. I, you know, I need a new server. I don't know what's going on with her, but I need a new server. And I, when I got a new server, the server, the server I got was attentive and I tipped her. So if you, if you notice, and it's not hard to notice that your server isn't, isn't all the way there with you. When you notice early on, you know, doing the appetizer portion of your meal or when you first get your drink that your server isn't really with you, get another server. Don't just at the end be like, you know, do good, do no good job. <laughs> you know, I just, I'm, I'm 100% opposed to that. I am 100% opposed to people that just don't tip at all. All right. I well. wish I could find them. I will hunt you down. I am, not, I, am, I, am, I am none. I am no. I am. I am not the person to talk to about that because, like I said, back in the day, I did it. And every time you ask for something i have to walk and get it even if i walk real slow even i have a, even if i have a conversation with somebody on the way back and i get it back to you in not a timely manner i still had to go do that that still took energy for me <laughs> so for you to be just like no it took you too long and you disappeared for too long so i don't owe you anything you don't owe me anything you owe me two dollars <laughs> you know so well no. here we have yvette carnell the angry black waitress <laughs> <laughs> the waitress let me say, from hell let me just say let me just say though, I was a great, I was back in the day, I was a great racist. And I can just say that because I believe in karma. I believe that you get back what you give. So even if you don't give me what I deserve, I believe that I gotta give you what you deserve and I gotta be good with you and be timely with you and smile because I'm gonna get it back in some way. That's just kind of how I feel about life. But mm. yes, people, people still will leave you just, just, just there or just, you know, a dollar with a bunch of change. What am I gonna do with that? You know, so it's, <laughs> I mean, you, you just, if you, if you, you have to go out with that in mind. You have to go out 
out with the mind that, you know, you sh- people should be in a great mood when they serve you, but bad things happen to people. Somebody could have just found out that their mother had cancer and they still have to go into their shift and do it. So you still have to keep in mind that, you know, the, the restaurant injury, in- industry and the way that waiting tables goes, you know, we don't have anyone, you know, back in the day when I waited tables, we didn't have anybody to relieve us. We had to find somebody to agree to come in and I stayed. We couldn't just call in sick. So there's a lot going on. And I'm not saying that people are excused for that, but I'm just saying give, give people a tip. And it, even if it's a small tip and if the service is just atrocious, just, re, just, just request from the manager that somebody else be made to come and wait on your table. Just the, the idea that, that you just leave the person with nothing is, is in my mind just atrocious. And I know a lot of people, I read the comments on that article, so I know a lot of people disagree with me, but that's just, that's my take on it. All right. Well, you know, um, there you go. There you guys have it. Yvette Carnell. The person who puts out good karma, and if you send her bad karma, she will re- return that shit to you tenfold. So, if <laughs> that don't play, if that don't play, and, and and for all y'all cheapskates out there, if you get good service, you definitely need a tip. And I think we both certainly agree on that. Um, and uh, but but this whole like locking people up because they don't want to pay the tip. What, what the hell, man? That's crazy. I lock you up. I wish I had the keys back in there. I lock you in there. <laughs> Oh Lord, have mercy! Well, good thing you are out of the restaurant industry, and I'm, I'm glad you hang, you hanging with me, because uh, we need to we need to keep you away from the customers, because we we can't have no we can't have you going to pri- we can't have you going back to prison now. <laughs> I'm playing. She, she ain't never been to prison. For everybody who thinks she's been to prison, she's never been. But anyway, uh, thank you very much, Yvette, for your time. I really appreciate it. No problem. Uh, and thank you all for checking us out at yourblackworld.com. And until we meet again. Please stay strong, be blessed, and be educated. We are gone. Peace.